Hi, my name is Christina and today I'm going to show you how to use the Python Calico Shell to control your Scribbler robot with the IPRE Fluke. You can download this software from calicoproject.org where there is a link and instructions on how to proceed with the installation. Alright, so after you install the software, I highly suggest you make it as a shortcut on your desktop for easy access. Once done so, go ahead and double click on it. Once you get to the Calico folder, you're going to scroll down. On where it says start calico.bat, you're going to double click on that and this will open the, the program. Well, first, it's going to show a black window that says it's loading, cal it's loading, and within a few moments, the program will pop up. And here is the Calico Shell. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is connect to the robot. And I'll bring up my lovely uh, robot. Damn, here it is. Alright, so this is my robot. And thing to make sure before we actually write our program is that make sure that your robot has the Fluke board plugged in and the computer has its Bluetooth dongle inserted if you don't have a built in Bluetooth. And also make sure that your robot is turned on. Alright, so once we turn on the robot, now it's time to connect to the robot. Alright, so the first command we'll type in is from Milo import. After you type that, hit enter. Alright, so what we just did is that we just informed the Python shell that you will be using the Myro library. This import statement is something that you will use each time you want to control the robot. After a while, it becomes second nature to you. Alright, so after issuing the import, the results OK appears on the bottom section of the window. And then the shell is ready for the next Python command. Now we need to connect to the robot by issuing the following command, which is initialize com. Alright, so in the textbook it says comx. And x simply means the port number which your computer is using to communicate with the robot. My computer is set up as COM4. So I'm using COM4. For this example, yours may be something totally different. All right, so once you type that, you want to hit enter. And when you issue the initialize command, the computer attempts to communicate with the robot. If this is successful, the robot responds with the hello and followed by its name. And my robot's name is Shrek. And you can give your robot whatever name you like. So now that we you well we are connected, we can issue a command to a robot. For example, if I type forward 1.0 two. So basically, I'm telling the robot that it's going forward at half its speed for two seconds. If you've done that, you hit enter, and you'll see the robot move forward. All right, so we just completed our first command. 
Okay, so that was a fairly simple, easy program. You type in command, and then it simply executes. So now, once you learn how to do functions, and once you realize how useful functions are, and then you will tend to create multiple functions for your program, which means longer programs. It becomes less convenient to use the Python Calico shell directly. For longer programs, it's easier to stay organized if we type our functions into a new blank window. To open up a new window, first left file, the new Python script. And here is the new window. One thing I want to point out to you is that I want you to notice the different um, command prompts. So at the shell, it starts as Python and greater than sign. That's the starting command prompt for the shell. But for a new window, it starts with a number, like an actual script number each time you're typing something. All right, so I want you guys to be aware of the difference. This is the window, this is the shell. All right, so once we open new window, now we can type in our first function. So let's do a yo-yo function. Let's type in function. All right, so when you type in a function, it is important that you make sure that each line in your function is aligned and indented. Because if it's not aligned and indented, you won't get an error in your function. And then your program will not work. So, like I have here, this is perfectly aligned and indented, and this will certainly will work for our program. Alright, so after you're done typing this um, function, as you can see, it's very easy. Now we need to save our function. Now there's two ways to save a function. You can save by clicking on this floppy disk icon or you click on File, Save As. And a new window will pop up. And this is where you can type in the name of your file, then the extension. So it will be yoyo.py. All right, it is imperative that you type in .py because the .py extension means Python. And if you don't type in that extension, your program will not work because the Calico shell will not, rec will not recognize your file unless you type in that extension. So after you're done, you click Save. All right, so now that we saved our program, now we need to run, need to run a program. So there's two ways to run, a pro run your program. You go to script, apply, or you click on a shut mark, which actually means run script also. So when you click on that, all right, so what we just did is that when we run the, our script, we actually run our definition of your yo-yo your function. We're letting the shell know the instructions on how to do a yo-yo. But the actual yo-yo that we typed out won't happen until we return to the shell and call out the yo-yo function. So when we type in yo-yo, open and close parentheses, hit enter, this will actually run our program. Congratulations, we just completed our first function program. All right, so one thing you guys should definitely know is that if you ever want to restart your shell, all you need to do is click on shell, restart the shell, and this will automatically this will automatically restart your shell. Restarting the shell is almost the same as quitting from Calico and starting all over from scratch. It's a good way to clean up your workspace. And when you restart your shell, that means you type in the import statements again, like from my root.
import to initialize it. Thanks, that's your so for. Alright, so thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope this video is very useful and good luck to you. Good luck to you with programming with robots.